Number eight, massive bull shark in Florida. Fishing charters are a big business in Florida, so when a local company in Madeira Beach took a group of tourists out to reel in the catch of the day, they got a little more than they bargained for. It took two whole hours to reel in what grabbed a hold of one of the lines from the charter boat. Those on board that wrestled with the catch on the end of the line were rewarded with a massive 10.4 foot long and a 5 foot wide bull shark. The charter owners at Hubbard Marina used these commercial trips to teach tourists about fishing and the local fishery, so netting the shark was a surprise. So too was the outcome. Rather than releasing the shark, as the owners preferred to do, the client had the final say and opted to kill the apex predator. With so many sharks in nearby waters, remarkably the charter company has been hosting these types of excursions since they opened in the late 1920s. Believing that the sharks should be released to avoid endangering the local ecosystem by killing off the predators, the charter captain eventually relented and let the tourists take the shark home, presumably for food. One silver lining of the excursion is that once the animal is used for food, its remains are given to local scientists who study it. Caught about a mile off Egmont Key in Florida, the bull shark is just one of a number of species one might encounter while boating in the area. Sandbar sharks, tiger sharks and bull sharks have all been captured and released by the company over the years. Number 7. Canadian Mako Shark Not all big shark catches happen in the United States. For an angler in Nova Scotia, Canada, it was quite the run-in with an 11 foot long shark that has made him a household name among locals. But it was the 2004 photo of his catch that went viral. An annual event with local fishermen in Yarmouth has fishing enthusiasts head out to the open sea to see who can catch the largest shark. Money raised at the event goes to local charities and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans to fund their research. At the 2004 event, a 28-year-old named Jamie Doucette captured a 10-foot female mako shark that weighed in at over 1,000 pounds. After battling the shark for more than 40 minutes, Doucette and his crew were able to bring the shark on board, but that was just the beginning of the tale. As the hooked shark surged to the surface, it chewed through the steel leader the men used to capture it. They then tried wrapping it in ropes around its torso and tail, but the shark was not having that either and chewed through the knots. As the men battled the mako, one of the crew members gave it an unceremonious end by slitting its throat, after which the shark died within 20 minutes. But that would not be the end of this shark's tale. For some reason, as the photo circulated online, others picked up the story and claimed to have seen the catch occur in places as far away as Galveston, Texas, Chesapeake Bay and Washington State. No one knows exactly why the shark caught in a small town around Nova Scotia became such an internet sensation, but the tale continues to be one that still resurfaces over a decade later, usually, unsurprisingly, during Shark Week. How many of you are fans of Shark Week? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 6. Great White Shark in the Sea of Cortez Just off the coast of Baja, California, two fishermen were tending to some nets they had dropped the night before when they found something huge lurking in the waters. First noticing the incredible weight in the net as they hauled it back to the surface, they found the dead Great White and brought it back to shore. Expecting to find a net filled with a bunch of small fish, they were shocked to discover a Great White Shark had got stuck instead reportedly around 2,000 pounds and around 20 feet long. It might seem remarkable that such a large shark could have been caught by such a small net, but it isn't uncommon for great whites to swim in the area. The great white was found in an area that scientists believe sharks use as a nursery for its protected waters. In 2019, OSEARCH, an organization that researches ocean data, reported that another 200 pound shark they had been tracking entered the Gulf of Mexico after swimming down the coast from Canada. By tracking animals like this, Osearch is able to learn where females give birth, and since the Sea of Cortez is known for a similar reason, it isn't difficult to assume that the shark caught by the two commercial fishermen was simply a female shark looking for a place to increase the species. Number 5. Myrtle Beach Bull Shark For 40 years, one man's catch of a tiger shark off North Myrtle Beach remained a record holder. In 1964, a man named Walter Maxwell snagged his line in the mouth of a giant shark and spent the next four hours bringing the beast in. As curious onlookers watched, Maxwell slowly brought the shark closer to shore, so close he could almost touch it, and then his line broke. Vowing to stay there as long as it took to get another chance at hooking the shark, Maxwell talked one of his friends into paddling him out into the water. Armed with live bait, the men waited until just after sunrise when the large tiger shark came back. After almost taking off with Maxwell's line, 
The shark fought the men all afternoon and late into the night. For five hours, the man battled the shark, and when he finally got it close to the pier, his friends lent a hand, using heavy rope to hoist it onto a flatbed truck. It took until the next day to weigh the shark, but when they did, it came in at a whopping 1,780 pounds and stretching 13 feet long. It would take until 2004 for another angler to catch a shark bigger than this one, but for Walter Maxwell, his shark, even if it was slightly smaller, still has a tail that made the record books. Number 4. Giant Sharks of Baja Although some of these stories might seem like they are too crazy to be true, there are quite a few areas in the world where not only these massive sharks live, but you can get up close and personal with them. Would you want to? Guadalupe Island, just south of San Diego, is one such place where you can book yourself a great white shark encounter. But don't think you have to fend for yourself against one of the world's largest predatory creatures. Those who take one of the five-day trips will be able to cage dive with these giants of the sea. Because certified divers continue to bring shark enthusiasts for dives, the animals are quite accustomed to having humans swimming in close proximity. So much that the resident sharks have names. One of the sharks you might encounter include Deep Blue, a female that measures 20 feet long from tail to snout. Although the earliest visitors to the island were there to hunt for seals and sea lions, shark cage diving expeditions are now a popular tourist attraction. Sea lovers are able to explore the volcanic island and its rugged nature. With towering cliffs and raw beauty, Guadalupe Island serves as the perfect backdrop for a thrilling shark dive. The convergence of warm southern currents with cool northern swells are what make Guadalupe Island the perfect place to shark watch. With its abundance of fish, as well as fur seals, sea lions and elephant seals are what really attract sharks to the area. With more than 250 sharks counted at one time in Guadalupe's waters, the 100 feet of visibility, calm waters and warm water temperature make it the perfect place to witness one of the world's largest animals in the wild. Number 3. Record-breaking Great White In the mid-1980s, a carnival-like atmosphere surrounded the capture of what some believed to be the largest Great White ever brought to shore. The 3,350-pound shark was found 25 miles south of Montauk in the Atlantic. A special scale had to be brought in to weigh the behemoth, with the International Game Fish Association coming in to certify and confirm the catch. Ironically, Donny Braddock, the charter boat captain who battled the shark for two hours, was out in his boat with Frank Mundus, a man who some believe was the inspiration for the legendary shark hunter in the movie Jaws. Apparently, the men had been sailing earlier in the day and came across a dead whale that was being fed upon by sharks. Returning to the scene later, they laid out some chum in the water, hoping to lure a shark in for a closer look. Measuring almost 17 feet, the shark was beaten by a simple rod and reel that could sustain up to 150 pounds of strength. It was one of the largest great whites caught anywhere. The shark was set to be dissected and its stomach contents sent to the Museum of Natural History for study. Number 2. Cuban Monster Shark When stories surface of supposed massive shark sightings, one usually takes the news with a grain of salt. A story that had been circulating since 1945 about an underwater monster was an easy one to question, but it would take over 70 years for the Discovery Channel to finally confirm any truth to the fishy tale. As the story goes, six fishermen set out from Kohimar in Cuba to look for the underwater animal that had been eating all their fish. Armed with only ropes and harpoons, the men set sail, eventually coming face to face with the culprit. After an epic struggle that lasted all night and the following day, they found that they had been battling with a 21-foot Great White that weighed a whopping 7,000 pounds. So, it's no wonder they nicknamed it El Monstro de Kojima. It would be easy to dismiss this story, but when a Discovery Channel documentary crew decided to look into it, they eventually confirmed the validity of the monster. The problem? 15 years after the shark was caught, an embargo was set in place to protect a large portion of the Caribbean from American scientists. It would take until 2013 for the documentary crew to start work on their piece for the first hints of the truth to be revealed. The executive producer of the documentary had been in Cuba and marvelled at its unspoiled beauty. Wanting to capture the splendour on film, he decided to pull together a crew of filmmakers and underwater cinematographers to bring his idea to life. Finally, after years of red tape, the crew started filming, working with shark scientists to track down a man, only 8 years old at the time, who had been around that fateful day when the massive shark was caught. After verifying the photo, scientists studied the shark, 
noticing that El Monstro looked larger than any other 16-foot Great White he had ever seen. Taking off to find other such sharks in the area, researchers tagged various sharks, including a rare longfin mako. Using their data to study the 60 species of sharks found in Cuban waters, the scientists are able to further protect sharks that travel to other parts of the world. This goes to show you that the amazing stories like the one of El Monstruo can not only inspire, but protect the world's oceans and the precious animals that live within them. Number 1. Hammerhead vs Black Tip Shark It isn't every day that fishermen capture a giant hammerhead shark on video. But when a couple of buddies were out fishing off the coast of Palm Beach, Florida, they not only caught the event on video, they captured an intense encounter between the two sharks. After hooking an 80-pound black tip shark on their line, Hall of Fame golfer Greg Norman and Josh Jorgensen, producer of Black Tip H sports fishing channel on YouTube, the two were understandably excited. Little did they know that they were in for an even bigger catch. As they had the shark on their line, they noticed a massive hammerhead shark approaching their boat. Using a drone to watch overhead, the men were glued to the screen as the massive hammerhead circled the shark they'd captured. After taking a bite, the hammerhead shark swam away, only to come back again. This time though, it wasn't for a simple nibble. The hammerhead swallowed the other shark whole. The men were shocked and elated to have captured the footage. But that wasn't the end of the adventure. They still had the hammerhead on their line, and after drawing hundreds of yards of line from the wheel, the shark continued to put up a fight. It took 45 minutes for the men to reel the monster in, and when they did, they soon realized just how massive it really was. After capturing some photos of the behemoth, they measured the hammerhead at almost 15 feet long and weighed it at an astonishing 1,200 pounds. Before releasing the shark back into the wild, the men jumped into the water to swim alongside it to celebrate their thrilling encounter. Number 10. The Deadly Sea Snake One of the most dangerous creatures that lives in the water, believe it or not, is actually a snake. Sea snakes are very venomous, with poison potent enough to kill someone if they happen to be bitten. And that's exactly what happened to a man named Harry Evans, who was killed by a sea snake off the coast of Australia just a couple of years ago. Harry was the first trawler fisherman to be killed by a sea snake bite in Australia in over 80 years. It happened while the 23-year-old man from the United Kingdom was working on a prawn trawler. He somehow came in contact with the snake, it bit him, and according to an Australian Maritime Safety Authority spokesperson, the man was already dead by the time a rescue catamaran reached the trawling vessel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Apparently, sea snakes are a common part of life as trawler fishermen. However, there is a certain way to handle these extremely deadly serpents that keeps most fishermen alive. This incident was a freak accident, and the venom delivered by the snake's fangs ended up causing Harry's painful and miserable death. Number 9. The Great Barracuda The Great Barracuda is one of the deadlier fish that lives in the waters of North America. And while attacks on humans by barracudas may be rare, they can happen and it can be deadly. This is especially true for snorkelers and divers, as barracudas will often attempt to steal fish from spear fishermen or mistake shiny objects for the glint of fish scales, causing the barracuda to attack unsuspecting swimmers. Most attacks are fast, involving a single injury brought on because of a quick strike from the barracuda, potentially cutting someone's limbs open. But sometimes, the attack can be more brutal. According to the Florida Museum, there was an incident in the 1960s off the coast of Pompano Beach in which a diver was bitten twice and required at least 31 stitches. Now, a barracuda is obviously not as treacherous as a great white shark, but everybody knows that sharks are the most dangerous fish. Barracudas are a little sneakier than that, and are even dangerous outside of the water. Some people have reported getting incredibly sick after eating barracuda, with some experiencing gastrointestinal problems and weakness in their limbs for weeks at a time. I would stay far away from these fish as a rule of thumb, because they sound like more trouble than they're worth. Number 8. Jumbo Squid Terrorizer Jumbo flying squid recently invaded the waters off the coast of San Diego, spooking scuba divers and scaring beachgoers after swimming up from the depths of the ocean and swarming unsuspecting civilians who just wanted to have a relaxing day at the beach. These carnivorous cephalopods are significantly smaller than giant squid, weighing only about 100 pounds. But that doesn't mean they're not terrifying. Imagine nine slippery tentacles wrapping around your legs while you're trying to enjoy a bit of water polo. Some people even refer to these squids as red devils because their skin is the rust red colour of blood. 
That would be scary enough to make anyone pee their pants. The Jumbo Squid is known properly as the Humboldt Squid, and they have been known to attack human beings. Divers wishing to observe these huge beasts of the deep are usually required to wear underwater chainmail and be safely secured inside of a special metal viewing cage. Otherwise, a person could be torn apart or lashed to death by the animal's strong tentacles. Of course, nobody had this protection when the Jumbo Squids invaded the beaches of San Diego. Humboldt squid typically hunt in schools of up to 1,200 individuals, and so it was no surprise that so many of them surged up at once. Luckily, nobody was injured, but there were still anecdotal tales of assault and even some less serious maiming. What's the craziest aquatic animal you've ever seen? Which one do you think is the scariest? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Epic Wildlife if you haven't already. Number 7. The Blue Spotted Stingray Ever since Steve Irwin was stabbed in the heart by a stingray, these underwater animals have had a pretty bad reputation. And while most stingrays are completely harmless, there is one particular species that is significantly more dangerous than the rest. This is the Blue Spotted Stingray, and when threatened, they can use their tail spine to deliver a gush of venom into an unsuspecting diver. It's not necessarily fatal, but the sting from a blue spotted stingray can definitely be painful enough to cause a person to lose focus, to become displaced, and to possibly drown. Of course, these stingrays can be easily identified by the blue spots all over their bodies. They typically live about 70 feet underwater, and can be found only in temperate and tropical waters. You'll almost never encounter one unless you happen to go diving and place your foot on the wrong spot. If one of these stingrays decides to stab you with its venomous tail, it's possible you'll never make it back to the surface again. Number 6. Giant Pyrosomes One of the largest, most mysterious, and deadliest marine animals is something known as a giant pyrosome. If you haven't heard of a pyrosome before, nobody would blame you. These creatures are incredibly rare, scientists almost never see them, and despite the fact that they can grow to be hundreds of feet long, they have barely been documented. A pyrosome is basically a hollow, worm-like creature that can grow to be the size of a mammoth. Some have been recorded at lengths that rival the legendary sperm whale. But there's more to a pyrosome than just its size. It is also bioluminescent and will glow when touched by humans. This is exceptionally scary when you consider that a pyrosome basically looks like the extremely long tentacle of the biggest squid in existence. According to a recent report from New Scientist, marine experts are starting to believe that our oceans may be teeming with these giant animals, even if we almost never encounter them. There's almost nothing known about the giant pyrosome, other than the fact that it's not a single organism, but actually multiple colonies of individual creatures that have massed together to create one giant monster. It's not clear why these separate organisms have banded together, and nobody has been murdered by one of these huge glowing things just yet, but they are still wildly dangerous. If a pyrosome wrapped its huge, 100-foot tentacle around you, it could easily strangle you to death. Number 5. An Exploding Whale Sometimes, the most dangerous underwater creatures can cause damage on land. Take the incident from 2004, when a dead sperm whale exploded like a bomb in the middle of a busy Taiwan street and showered the nearby spectators, vehicles and shops in a hurricane of blood and internal whale organs. The whale exploded with such force that it literally showered the entire city street with blood and guts. It was such a huge mess that traffic ended up being stopped for hours. According to NBC News, this went down in the small city of Tainan, while the decomposing remains of the 56-foot-long whale had been en route to a research site. Unfortunately, the whale was a ticking time bomb. The gases created by the internal decay caused the whale to bloat, and then its entrails exploded outwards when the pressure inside was simply too much. Exploding whales can definitely happen, and you better hope you're not in line of fire when she blows. Number 4. The Flower Urchin the flower urchin doesn't even look like a real animal, and yet it is one of the most dangerous creatures underwater. It is in fact the most venomous sea urchin in the world. This urchin is covered in thousands of tiny triangular and circular structures known as pedicellariae. These seemingly harmless structures are actually venomous claws. When the pedicellariae is circular, it's actually an opened claw with a spike like a hypodermic needle in the middle. If you were to step onto a flower urchin, you would be injected by dozens of these horrifying spikes, and the venom could be enough to kill you. The immediate symptoms of being stung by a flower urchin include blistering pain, 
great difficulty breathing, paralysis, and an inability to speak or control bodily functions. But because the flower urchin lives so deep in the water, there have been almost no recorded incidents of people being attacked by one. But nonetheless, these are some of the most venomous things anywhere underwater. Number 3. Mysterious Sea Serpent A mysterious sea serpent was recently witnessed lurking off the coast of Cape Cod, and the creature was so big that if real, it would rival any other sea monster that has ever existed in the history of the planet. It was apparently photographed by a professional shark spotter named Wayne Davis. The serpent looks to be around 300 yards long, or 900 feet. That would make it larger than over 10 sperm whales lined up one after the other. It could very well have been that Mr. Davis spotted a legendary sea creature that has somehow evaded ever being recorded even with our modern technologies. Even after the photograph blew up on the internet and everyone got their two cents in, nobody could deny that the shape really did look like the silhouette of an enormous monster. Nobody has yet come up with a scientific explanation other than it was a shadow, an oil slick, a massive fishing net floating with the current, or the reflection of the tidal shelf. Sure, the shape could have definitely been just a shadow, but it would be an awful big coincidence for a shadow to be underwater in the exact same shape of a mythical sea serpent. To this day, nobody knows exactly what Mr. Davis witnessed or where the enormous monster went. But suffice to say, if real, this is definitely the most dangerous creature underwater or even on the planet. Number 2. Swordfish Swordfish can be deadly. And what's even stranger is that the swordfish sometimes go out of their way to try and stab divers intruding in their territory with their giant sword-like noses. A scuba diver recently had a terrifying brush with death when a swordfish charged at him when the diver was walking along the ocean floor in Brazil and speared through his equipment, missing his body only by a couple of inches. The diver was taken completely by surprise as the swordfish swam towards him obviously with the intent to impale. There was even video footage taken that showed the swordfish stuck inside the diver's equipment trying to wriggle itself free. It's not exactly clear what the diver did to the swordfish to make it so angry, but these are clearly not fish that anyone should be messing with. They literally have swords growing out of their faces. Number 1. The Deadly Goliath Grouper Sharks can be pretty scary. They are big, they are thirsty for blood, and they can bite a person in half in one chomp. But there's just something about the Goliath grouper that makes it even more terrifying and sometimes more dangerous than any species of shark. Goliath groupers can grow to be over 400 pounds. They have rows of jagged teeth made for slicing flesh. They live as near to the surface as 80 feet deep and they are quite common off the coast of Florida. According to the Florida Museum of Natural History, Goliath groupers have actually been known to stalk humans and ambush them. Of course, these ambushes don't normally result in death but there can certainly be injuries, and there can certainly be robberies. In a shocking video recently captured by a spear fisherman off the coast of Jupiter, Florida, a Goliath grouper can be seen charging at the man, ripping his flipper off his foot, then stealing his spear fishing equipment. Either the grouper was sick of being speared to death by floating humans, or he just really didn't like this guy. Whatever the case, the diver is exceptionally lucky that the fish didn't make off with his entire foot, and only managed to rip off his flipper. The diver did get his equipment back in the end, and to date there has been no sign of this particularly angry grouper. Number 10. Pitbull Terriers When it comes to dogs you should fear, pitbulls are definitely at the top of the list. Pitbull Terriers have a reputation as being the most dangerous, violent and uncontrollable of all the domesticated dog breeds. And believe it or not, this is in fact true. According to statistics, out of the 48 Americans killed by dogs in 2019, 33 of them were killed by pit bulls or pit bull mixes. Additionally, 13 out of the 33 victims were either the owner of the dog or a family member of the owner of the dog. And that's not all. Pit bull terriers are also famous for eating their owners. And when pit bulls attack, they are far more likely than other breeds of dog to finish the job, meaning they don't just bite. When a pit bull attacks, they typically maul the person to cause serious injury or even death. And in another startling statistic, in 2019, 26 American women were killed by dogs and 16 of them were killed by pit bulls, meaning that pit bulls are the number one killers of women in the dog family. They also happen to be the number one canine killers of other pets, such as dogs and cats. But unlike what you might be thinking, the danger of a pit bull does not necessarily have anything to do with the owner. According to Time magazine, 
It's been estimated that there are 4.5 million pit bulls in the United States, meaning they make up less than 6% of the canine population. And still, they bite more humans than any other breed. What do you think? Do you think pit bull ownership should be outlawed or more regulated? Or do you think that they have an unfair reputation? Let me know in the comments. Then, be sure to subscribe to Epic Wildlife for more animal videos. Number 9. Wolf-Dog Hybrids After years of study, scientists have come to the agreement that domestic dogs indeed originated from wild wolves. Of course, this was some time between 20,000 and 100,000 years ago. That was when humans began selectively breeding dogs for help with hunting and for protection. And this is where the wolf dog comes in as a dangerous animal, as it is a hybrid of the dog that humans spent thousands of years modifying and the original wolf. Obviously, dogs and wolves are not the same animal. So, when you have a wolf dog, which is half wolf and half dog, you're going to get a mixed bag of character traits. And unfortunately, it's true that wolf dogs can be incredibly dangerous. Because there is so much wolf in the animal's genes, it may have a tendency to try and dominate you as it grows older, and this is what happens in the wild. Also, a wolf dog is going to have significantly more energy than a normal dog. This means that it will probably have a higher tendency to do things like hunt and attack. And when it comes to playing at the park, this could result in somebody's small child swiftly becoming prey. According to the CDC, between 1979 and 1998, there have been about 14 fatalities linked to wolf dogs. Number 8. The Chihuahua The Chihuahua is a significantly more frightening animal than people give it credit for. Yes, Chihuahuas are yippy and annoying and highly aggressive, but they can also be dangerous. A recent study reported in The Atlantic has revealed that Chihuahuas are consistently more aggressive in every situation than any other breed of dog. Out of 35 common dog breeds analysed in the study, Chihuahuas were the most aggressive dogs to other dogs that they had never seen before, making them the most standoffish out of any other breed. It's funny how the dogs with the most bark are the smallest. Of course, at the same time, Chihuahuas are ridiculously protective of their owners. It's really only strangers that need to worry about being bitten by a Chihuahua. And if you are wondering just how painful a true bite from a Chihuahua might be, you'll be pleased to know that the bite force of a Chihuahua has been estimated at around 150 pounds per square inch, which probably won't do much damage. But still, all that angry barking might give you a heart attack. I'd personally rather have a calm golden retriever or a chocolate lab to be honest. Number 7. Rottweilers Rottweilers are often considered to be some of the most ferocious dogs in the entire world. They have been involved in a lot of attacks on humans, the media is constantly bashing Rottweilers and telling people to be wary of them, and there have been reports that say Rottweilers are responsible for the second most human fatalities out of any breed of dog. And yes, Rottweilers are definitely temperamental. They are territorial and preferred by those seeking a guard dog. They are super protective and when trained properly, can be wildly dangerous to a stranger who wandered into the wrong yard. It's also true that Rottweilers get overexcited, and this causes them to become destructive. A destructive energy mixed with an almost bipolar temperament, and combined with the intense strength of the Rottweiler, makes this one dog you definitely don't want to get in a fight with. Like many dogs though, it's often just because Rottweilers are defensive when they feel threatened, and it just so happens that they feel threatened very easily. Number 6. Stray Dogs Stray dogs are dangerous. You never want to mess with stray dogs, especially when they run wild in Southeast Asia. It doesn't matter what breed the dog is, if it's a stray, it could be a hazard. Take the recent story reported in Asia 1, when a cyclist had to be taken to hospital after a group of wild dogs attacked him and another cyclist in Singapore, knocking one of the men into the gutter and causing serious injuries. And believe it or not, this is actually a huge issue in many parts of the world, where there are roaming bands of stray dogs. In the wild, even dogs that were bred through domestication can turn into wild beasts. They travel in huge packs of up to a dozen, they can tear apart a human in seconds, just like a pack of wolves could, and in the case of the poor cyclist, they can knock you into the gutter and send you limping to the hospital. Stray dogs may look like they need some love and affection, but let them be brought to an animal control centre or adoption centre before you try to pet them. Number 5. German Shepherds You might be familiar with German Shepherds working in law enforcement, and this is for a good reason. German Shepherds are extremely smart dogs that can be trained to hunt down and incapacitate criminals, and they are often fearless. But this can turn them into very dangerous animals. This is especially true if the German Shepherd doesn't know you. 
In a horrifying case from Argentina, Seven News reported that when a 17-year-old girl gave a playful hug to her best friend's German Shepherd to get a photo taken, the dog attacked. The attack was captured in the photo shoot, showing the exact moment that the dog turned and lunged at the girl's face, completely mangling her. She ended up having to get 40 stitches in a two-hour operation after her face was torn open by the angry dog. And of course, the owner would never have expected it. And that's because German Shepherds are generally protective of their family and highly dangerous to random people who try to hug them. Number 4. Dingo and the Baby If you've ever heard the expression, the dingo ate my baby, you may have wondered how much validity there is to the statement. After all, did a dingo really eat a baby a long time ago to make people start saying that? And unfortunately, the answer is yes. In 1980, a dingo really did eat a baby. When the Chamberlain family went camping near the famous Ayers Rock in Australia, a dingo snuck into their tent, stole their 10-week-old baby, and ran off and ate it. Upon finding the baby gone, the mother supposedly screamed, My God! The dingo's got my baby! And that's where the expression comes from. But hold on to your socks, because this story gets insane. Lindy and Michael Chamberlain were found guilty in 1982 of murdering their daughter and blaming it on a dingo. It was a huge story in the 80s, and this is what really fueled the Dingo Ate My Baby revolution. But the story didn't end there. In 1986, both their convictions were overturned when police found a jacket belonging to a small baby in an area that was populated by dingoes. It turned out that the dingo really did eat their baby, and both of the distraught parents were let out of jail. Just imagine losing your child, and then being put in jail and accused of killing your own baby yourself. That has to be up there with the worst things that can happen to a person. But the point here is that dingoes are incredibly dangerous, and if you're camping in Australia, be sure not to let any of them in the tent with your baby. Number 3. Huskies Huskies are some of the most beloved dogs in the world. However, huskies are also super dangerous and can do some serious damage. According to a law firm out of Philadelphia that specializes in personal injuries caused by canines, Siberian Huskies are one of the most dangerous breeds and are more often than not responsible for serious injuries that happen to children. Of course, Huskies are not nearly as dangerous as pit bulls, but between 1979 and 1998, there were allegedly 15 mauling deaths perpetrated by Siberian Huskies in the United States. And then there are Malamutes, which are larger than Huskies but often confused as being Huskies, which were responsible for 12 mauling deaths during the same period. It's not clear exactly why Huskies have such a tendency to attack children, but most dog experts will tell parents to keep their kids away from any adult Huskies, as they can apparently snap at any second. Number 2. African Wild Dogs African wild dogs are some of the most brutal canines on the planet. These dogs come from Africa, and are savage hunters and scavengers that should be avoided at all costs. They're quite similar to hyenas in that they travel in packs and in larger numbers can be more dangerous than lions. But even in captivity, African wild dogs should be feared. Take the case from 2012, when a young boy was mauled to death by a pack of African wild dogs after falling into their enclosure in the Pittsburgh Zoo. The Pittsburgh Zoo argued that the death of Maddox Durkosh who had only been two years old at the time, was due to negligence on the part of the mother. The fact is that the mother held the child up to give him a better view of the African wild dogs in their exhibit below the observation deck. Her son lurched forward and he slipped from her grip and the dogs had an early meal. In the end, it was just a freak accident at an enclosure of very dangerous animals. According to New York Daily News, the Pittsburgh Zoo has since removed the African wild dogs and replaced them with a cheetah. Number 1. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiffs are some of the largest dogs in the world. These beasts are heavy and powerful. And while a grown adult might be able to fend off an attack from a Bull Mastiff, a child definitely can't. A disturbing incident from the United Kingdom shows just how volatile and dangerous Bull Mastiffs can be. A family's Bull Mastiff had to get put down after the animal mauled a two-year-old girl, causing serious damage to her face and almost killing her. The kid had only been playing in the kitchen when she walked past the dog and out of nowhere, it lunged at her face and latched on with its teeth. Apparently, the dog had belonged to the boyfriend of the two-year-old's mother. Before the attack, nobody had any concern about the dog being near the child. It had never attacked a child before, and it was advertised as being a good family dog by the adoption agency. But this just goes to show that even a good family dog can snap unexpectedly and cause deadly harm. What's your opinion on these dangerous pups? 
Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for another great animal video.